Hare Krishna kids. Hello. Welcome to another class today. Uh, we are doing, uh, we are going through a very exciting Hi, uh, day, right? And the topic is? Nine process of devotional service. Absolutely, nine process of devotional service. But before we jump right into our topic for today, let us start our today's class with Shri Guru Pranam Mantra and we'll do that together. Let's start hey. I cannot hear hey. anybody singing. Shamagori Mataji. Alright, we're going to start with Sri Guru Pranam Mantra, right? Which is on your screen. So we'll do that first. <laughs> All right, kids, so good job. We're going to do Mahan, Maha Mantra now, and then whoever did not get chance the last couple of days, we're going to give them chance first, right? So let us start with who did not get the chance. Okay, Shamagari, go ahead. Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Very nice, Shamagari. Good job. Krishna, 
Shreya Shri Hari and then we'll finish there, okay? Jan we go ahead. Thank you. All right. Um, Shreya Shrihari, yes, please go ahead. Wonderful, lovely voice. All right, kids, thank you. You all were singing so beautiful with different kind of tunes, your voices. So I totally loved it. Very nice. All right, so we're going to go to the next interest par- interesting part of today's class. It's story time. Yes, we enjoy that. All right, but I have a question for you before that. I always do that. Sorry, but I have to do it. I like it because. All right, so we are talking about nine process of devotional service, right? What is the first one? Healing. Oh, no. I can no. All right. All right. You can speak about all the all the Yeah. We're missing one more. No, never mind. Remember it. I'm going to ask again in next class, okay? It is Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, Padsevanam. And what we're doing this week is Archana. That is DT worship. Wonderful case. You remember most of it. So. All right. So let's get into the story right now. Uh, so we were talking about, um, in yesterday's class also, we were talking about the Brahmin, how he used to worship uh, Lord Vishnu through his mind, right? So we're still continuing with the same story. So he's been continuing to do um, service to or offerings to Lord Vishnu through his mind all the time. Many years have been passed while he was still doing the same. It's his regular practice to do that. Why he was doing it? Because he was very poor. Uh, he couldn't buy things or so many things to um, to do the proper ritual of offering or deity worship. So he was just doing it in his mind. And that's, that's, you know, we read it yesterday. That's one of the way to worship the Lord. So not that he was doing anything wrong, but this is one of the way he was doing it and which is absolutely right. So one day what happened was he wanted to do an offering to the Lord and he thought that he should make nice sweet rice for the Lord. So it's all happening in imagination, right? If you look at the picture right here, he's imagining that. So he started cooking um, the tasty rice and then he placed that sweet rice on a golden dish so that he can offer it to the Lord. But again, he's imagining this. So he And he offered that to Lord Krishna. Then he realized, oh my God, I just cooked that and it, can, it could be very, very hot, right? He didn't want to burn Lord's mouth. So he wanted to make sure that it's, it's the right temperature that the Lord can eat peacefully. Uh, how can he check that? So while he was imagining all this cooking and offering, he put one of his finger in the food um, in sweet rice to check whether it's hot. And it was actually extremely hot. He immediately took out his finger. But while he was imagining all this, right? But what happened is because the food was so hot, it burnt his finger and it broke his meditation as well. 
So he's in real world now, right? Because his meditation broke. He's out of the, you know, imagination now. And he looked at his finger, which was actually burned. Wow, isn't that amazing? So all that offering was happening in the imagination, but in real world, he still had his finger burned. So, so what do we understand from this? Okay, let's look at the last line, which says the moral of the story. And the story's um, moral is, the deity Krishna himself, the deity is Krishna himself, who is there to receive our love and offerings. Whichever shape and form, we worship the Lord, even though it's through the imagination. If it is done in the right way, if it is done with the, with the complete dedication and devotion, Krishna is always there to receive our love and offering. Awesome. All right. So there's another person we're going to talk about today, and that is Prithu Maharaj. Right? And Prithu Maharaj is known for his respectful worship to the Lord. So he's, he's very well known for that. Let us see what he does. So, Maharaj Prithu is a Shakya Vesha avatar. So you know what is Shakya Vesha avatar? We're going to talk about this as well so that our concepts are clear about that. Uh, this would simply mean that Lord had given him special powers. So that is why he is kind of um, obtained some of uh, Lord's qualities because Lord has given him those kind of qualities and power um, in this, you know, earthy world basically. Uh, he was very powerful and righteous king who appeared to protect the people of the world. So he, he was very dedicated and devoted to what he wanted to do and he was doing, utilizing his powers in the right way to just to protect his people. Not, not just his people, but people of the world. His wife, who was an incarnation of Lakshmi and her name was Archie. All right. So King Prithu is known for performing many sacrifices for the pleasure of Krishna. So he was one of another uh, devotee of Krishna who did um, worship and he was very, very dedicated. All right. With that, woohoo. So we heard the story now. Now it's time to answer the questions. All right. So the first question is, uh, what did the Brahmana offer to the Lord? Sweet rice. Sweet rice. Sweet rice. Good job. Right. Next question is, how did the Brahman offer the prasadam? By touching his finger inside and licking in his heart. Yeah. So second part is, yeah, he did touch, uh, use his finger to see if the it's hot or not. But how did he offer? He offered in um, in a golden place. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to just go back so that you know. Okay, so you can see here. He uh, here, if you can see, he served mm -hmm. the sweet. Mm -hmm. golden dish. Right. Okay. All right. So the third question here is: How did the Brahman burn his finger? By when he touched it, it was too hot for him. Burn his finger. Very nice. You all answered very well. So yes, it was hot and he touched it because he didn't want to serve hot food to Krishna. Right. All right. The fourth question. The deity is Krishna himself who is there to accept our love and offering. Is that true or false? True. Yeah. True. Yes. True. Yes. All right. Next one. Who is Prithu Maharaj's wife? Lakshmi. 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 Yes, she's the incarnation Lakshmi. of Lakshmi Maharaj. Absolutely. And um, just for your reference one more time, her name was Archie. Archie. Okay, um, the next one is uh, Prithu Maharaj. Prithu Maharaj is a living being who receives special powers from from true. the Lord. Is that true? True. Or false? True. 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 Very true. True. Awesome. True. No wonder. No wonder I love you all. <clears throat> you always give true. correct answers. Amazing. True. True. 
<laughs> okay, right. That's the right answer. So, kids, thank you. Thank you for joining for the story time, and you answered very well. Now, let's move on to the next part of our today's class. That is um, the shloka time. And Anjana Mataji is going to help you learn some new shlokas or revise the earlier ones. Krishna so Mataji, over to you. Thank you so much, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Krishna. We can do the sloka. This is a revision sloka. Me, Pranav. With everyone. And then you can tell me this sloka. Okay, okay, Pranav. Go ahead. Devi he shaguna mai mama maya drasteya mame vaye prapadyam te maya me tam taranti te namam dushkriti no mura prapadyam te naravama maya parta jnana asuram bhav bhav aashita Thank you, Pranav. Thank you. Good job. Who want to go next? Hello. We don't know. We don't know how much I do can't do. No, no. Devi Asha. 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 Anybody want to try? I know. Yeah, this loka we did long time back. I don't know if you still remember or not. Okay, you all can uh, also chant with me together, everyone. Daivi esa gunamai. Daivi esa gunamai. Daivi esa gunamai. Mama Maya Durataya. Mama Maya Durataya. Mama Eva E Prapadyante. Mama Eva E Prapadyante. Etam Tarantite. Naya Maya Durataya. Namo. Namam Duskriti no Muda. Namam Duskriti no Muda. Patyante Naradama. Patyante Naradama. Maya Parita Gyana. Maya Parita Gyana. 
by fond of us for shipping deity. Six gold swamis writing poems, seven sages performing yagna, eight tashtasakis dancing with Krishna, nine islands of Navadweep, ten Dashavatara performing Leela, and Krishna Dasa is serving Krishna. Thank you, Master Ji. Thank you so much, Pranav. Subhadra, you can please go ahead. Shamagori, very nice. Janami, please go ahead. We are doing sloka, you should not put it in the mouth. That's wrong. Yeah, you can do it after. I the spicy one. You can go ahead. Nine lambs of Navadweep, 
Thank you so much, Brenda. That was so nice. Yes, Raga, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you all kids for singing so beautifully. I think you all enjoyed the rhyme, the way you sang. Uh, we'll meet again tomorrow. Thank you all very much. Lakshmi Mataji, please take over the call. Thank you so much, Mataji, for such a beautiful poem. Thank you. All right, kids. So we are almost towards the end of our today's class. So I know you all have so much effort and practicing. So that shows in the class as well. So yeah, keep practicing. Keep in the group. Um, we would like to hear that more. Uh, with that, let's um, finish our today's class by singing national prayer on your screen. Let's do that together.